Hello and welcome to a very, very special Square World uh, production this evening. Uh, I'm joined by the wonderful Matthew, as always, who is the blue gentleman just there, I think. Hello. Hello, my friend. Indeed. And I have what are we playing? Role, I have assumed the role of my persona, Sydney Spadger Hawkins, for this <laughs> video. And we are playing The Secret World. <laughs> uh, oh, Jesus. Th oh, there Jesus. goes our professionalism, ladies and gentlemen. And I am... Um, I am... Um, what, what's my name? I can't see my name. I your, can't remember. Your name is Yoda Toshioa Smith. Definitely. Get in there. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, let's take a step backwards and actually um, explain that we're in fact playing The Secret World. And yep. um, we're trying, going to try and show off as much starter area content as we can. So onwards we have played wave. about an hour so far. Uh, we missed a load of scenes and cutscenes and all sorts because you guys are going to have to play it. Let's just put it like this: the scripts are wonderful, the uh, visual effects are stunning, uh, and oh. the voice acting is beyond belief. Uh, Matt just took a dive off the edge of the world. Yeah, I fell. Are you, are you dead? No, it just reloads you at the um, the start again. I'll be back. Okay. I'm going to go through the portal thing in the meantime and wait for you on the other side. Right. Uh, this big tree of life area, but, well, the area you just saw, seeing as Chris has gone through the portal, is called Argatha, <laughs> and it's the, the hub world. Um, which is also, it's very reminiscent of the Ash Lake in Dark Souls. Which is one of my favourite areas. I love that. Just kind of finding it at the bottom of that tree and there's just trees growing out of a lake into mist forever. It's fantastic. Anyway, back to the game at hand. <laughs> <laughs> try, not to, try not to tell off too much. Um, it's about one I in the am morning playing and I'm this. shagged. <laughs> I am playing this on Ultra Graphics. And it is, as you can see, stunning. Absolutely stunning. Admittedly, I think my PC can just about cope with it. Because you can't run it in SLI mode, which is just annoying. But, you know, these things are, to, you know, these things are sent to test us. It is beta. beta. Right, I'm going to get this quest this time. And we're going to do it properly. <laughs> okay. Like that. On cooldown. 17 hours. Bollocks. Not going to get so that quest. So you've completed quest. it then? No, it's on cooldown. I didn't complete it. But I can't. No, no, it, it only goes on to cooldown if you have completed it. Are you sure you don't have um, a, an, a send report button? Uh, yeah, sorry about this, guys. Apparently there's a send report button, but I don't see one anywhere. Where is it supposed to be, Matt? It's supposed to be directly above your current quest. You know, on the right-hand side, above your quest and directly below your minimap. There should be a green smartphone icon with a grey button saying send report. Nay, there is nothing, my friend. Yeah, well, bug. Never mind. Yeah, Basically, when you complete cares? a pet, uh, when you complete a quest in this game, you don't go back to the NPC that gave it to you. What you do is you you just complete it, and then there's a send report button because your your faction gives you a smartphone, and you send reports in through them, and it send you get all your rewards back through your smartphone. Which is interesting because um. I just managed to pull a pull a pair of Luger pistols out of my smartphone a minute ago. So <laughs> <laughs> Matt failed to tell me that until. After we'd finished a quest and started another one. Yeah, and uh, Chris lost his send report button and I didn't, so. These also, a cool feature we should show off. Yeah, a cool feature we have to show yeah. off is car alarms. Okay. Okay, let's do it. <laughs> right, I'll set it off. I'll set the fiery thing going. Is that car, no, that car alarms and mobilized? Uh, Wait, have you set off that canister? Because this car alarm will work. Oh, okay, right. Yeah, it's. Wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. Three, two, one, and we're off. Naturally, I'm burning myself to death again. What's that? Oh, yeah, push button. You're scared of it. It's an AoE. It does about 12 damage per second in the green area. That's not too bad. Too bad. Right. So that was one of the many, many game mechanics that I'm sure we'll come across, but that's just one. That Very actually happens to every... Yeah. 
that actually happens um, with every car pretty much in Kingsmouth. It's not just on that road, so you can continually um, do that later on. Really quite reminiscent of the old uh, F for Dead. <laughs> Indeed. Not that that's a bad thing. So right, which mission are we doing? We're doing I've Supply Run. Supply Run. Okay, okay. Supply Run um, has quite an interesting feature. The first thing you have to do, and Chris, you should show the viewers this, is look I'm at this phone save, book. I'm save this woman. Oh, screw her. She's a AFK person. Forget it. She can die. Um, the first thing you do right. in this quest is you examine a phone book. Which is right there. You won't see the red marks, unfortunately. Uh, because we've already started this one. Uh, but there are red marks over the locations that you needed to visit. Those locations are down these robes. Uh, obviously, like I said, we've already done the first part of this quest, so unfortunately I can't show you fully. There's a loot bag here. Did you kill something? No. Um, if it's not yours, you can't access it. I just took so it. So yeah, the... Um... Oh, did you? Yeah. Must oh, have been well. abandoned. Then. Right. Press X. The controls are actually quite good. Uh, it's W, A, S, D, Q and E to move, or you can hold the right mouse button and move that, and that will move you as well. And if you hold right and left mouse button, that acts as W, A, S, D. You can also that right? do a dodge roll. Yeah, that's right. Don't forget dodge roll, though. Oh, yeah, dodge roll. <laughs> dodge roll it's is... I part. actually found, a, I found an easier way of doing it. If you press shift, it will do it for you. Huh, you have to do the direction button. You, yeah, you don't have to actually press, uh, you don't have to double tap, you can press shift. I think, let's just double, t yeah, it'll do it sideways as well. He's now going to try it, to see if he can prove me wrong. It only yep. works with uh, forwards for me. Oh, if you okay. press Q or E, it works sideways. Okay, right, one of the, uh, the over here, Chris, one of the, um, the most interesting part oh, yeah, of this sorry. game is the way that um, certain quests are set out to be puzzles, and this is quite a simple example. Um, this is one of my favourite moments so far, but you accept this, and there's a cell phone in this dead lady's hand, and you can check that, and you get an image. Yeah, which I will try and do now, if I can see the bloody thing. Yep, there we go. Check in, check in, check in! Ta-da! Um, so yeah, it just gives you, basically, exactly what you need to do. But it is quite a nice feature because it means you have to actually go out and find these little items. And let's face it, that is quite a little item there. Yeah, uh, do you want to carry on with supply or do you want to try this one? No, let's go off on a tangent and do this puzzle mission. Cool. So uh, in the message, the message on the cell phone said that she had to crawl to a church because she was quite close to one. And we just passed one on the way down here past this house. So let's go back to that church and see if we can find anything. And let's... Switch out. Oh yeah, there's the church. There's a the church. Yep, there's a hidden keypad somewhere around the church. Yeah, I should have probably read the message, but you get the gist. The control system is actually quite nice, but it does take some getting used to. Um, it does. Then again, for people who play WoW and Rift, this should be a walk in the park. So somewhere in this front porch area is a hidden keypad, so let's have a look around and see if we can find it. Did it give us any clues? I can't remember. No, it just said hidden keypad somewhere. Right, and it's on the porch So area. I'll take this side, you go around the other. <laughs> okay. Not. Oh, hang on a sec. No, never mind. I I'd found it. Uh, what's this? Can you see that? The little Can red Illuminati. What? There's a little red Illuminati symbol on this church. No mind. It's probably something it to do later. Yeah. Are you killing stuff? Yeah, you are. Can we get the message back? Oh, hang on a sec. What's this? What's this? Oh, I found it. I found the hidden keypad. It was over here under a stone. If you want to come over here. Okay. It's just over so by the far it. right corner or far left corner by the tree. Okay. Now, do you remember what the the cell phone said? 
I don't. Get Correct. back to about the code. Let's. Can we get back? She to said it? the code was the code was the first song. The, uh, oh, the father yes. was planning to sing on Sunday. Yes. So uh, let's check the church. See if we can find that out. Surely it'll be on the board. Let's go and have a look at the board, board in that case. No, it's it's not probably on the board. inside. It's probably inside, you're right. Okay. Let's go inside the church. Whoa, bit of a lag spike. Well, he's here. Uh, can we not just talk to him? Hawthorne. I don't think he tells you. No. No, I'm not going to get him. I'm not going to get I any more I think I found yet. a hymn board here. Ah, oh, sweet. That is so clever. Have we got like a notepad where we can write stuff down? Because that would be really helpful. I don't, th I don't think we had. I just I use actual paper at the moment. Uh, let's just have a quick peek. What about a web browser? There's oh, a web browser you can use. That is cool. But I'm just going to use that. You can press B and you get a web browser. Yeah, I've just u I've just used it to store the code. Okay, so first hymn of the day was five seven six. Okay, the web browser just doesn't work. Never mind. Five seven six. Okay. Do you want me to do it or are you gonna do it? Do you want to do the honors? Yes, please. Five seven six. Five seven six. Okay. Uh, forward the footage to HQ. Is that completed? Right now, there's, there's definitely a send report for me above the quest menu. I think mine's doing it automatically. The quest has disappeared, but I, yeah, it's doing it automatically for me. You gained 3,500 XP, and I've got. No, I didn't get. Did, did you, you get any items out of it? Yeah, you should get a sequin of Solomon Island and Pax Romana, some currency. You get, you get like 18,000 experience for finishing it off. Why am I not getting this? You might just have to re-log. But anyway, returning to the game, that was actually quite a cool puzzle. Basic, simple, quite a cool little puzzle. That's the first one you get. I mean, one thing that knocks me off at the moment is all of the... Um, the proper investigation mission is the one where you have to find out about history of actual places and solve puzzles like that. They're locked off at the moment and they're only out in the final release. Just have to wait until then. <laughs> Jump the fence. Yeah, man. Jump the fence like Search the fire station for first aid. Uh, here's one. That'll do nicely. You know, there's one thing that would be kind of scary. It's a zombie fireman with an axe. Don't say it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and as if by magic... I know. I mean, you could almost think I'd done it before. Never. Never. Right, that's two. Oh, look, there's another one. Hey, we. You can jump, right? You said to jump out of that. Dodge out of it. Uh oh. Jump, dodge, same thing. Again, those zombie noises are just brilliant, aren't they? Right, so dodge. Shit, I missed it. I missed the actual dodge ability completely. Come back. He's dead. He's out of here. Take the gold. Stroke packs. Place the supplies in the storeroom. Right. Let's see if this works. Can we get out the of here? Sheriff's office. Oh, there's law in there. Die, motherfucker! I like your big blue shockwavey thing. It's really quite helpful, especially when we get overrun by loads of them. 
Oh, I, I'm not going to big up Razor here, but definitely get yourself a Razor mouse if you're playing this game. The extra four side buttons make all the difference. What are you playing with these days? I can't remember. Um, Logitech G9, I think. Get in. <laughs> We're going to have to edit out the names there. No, that'd be right. I want to get a Rat 9, to be honest with you. I can't really get the dodge thing right yet. I will do, eventually, I'm sure. Right, press mm. X for sprint. And middle click to auto run. Middle click? No, it's yeah, not working scroll for me. Scroll wheel click. No, it's not working for me. Oh, uh, really? It does work for me. Yeah, I might have to go into the controls and set it up. Put that later. How long does the sprint last? Indefinite. Oh, perfect. We can't attack yeah, during sprint mode. If, if you get into combat, it knocks you out of it. It's basically a mount. Um, you get a quickened anima um, at certain kind of XP thresholds. And it's a sprint that kind of increases your uh, movement speed, you know, 60%, 100%, 200%, just like mounts in other games. <laughs> we, have a, we have a townie following us. It's like a groupie, but he's a townie. No, he's gone. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, she didn't follow you. She, she had enough of you, mate. Right, let's go hand in this quest. Bets that this doesn't bloody work for me. Good if it doesn't. What the hell is that? It's a demonic giant squid mushroom monster. 